Trucks and buses play an important role in the fight against climate change because they emit a lot of CO2. They make up about a quarter of all European CO2 emissions from road transport, so there is much to be gained by bringing these emissions down. For trucks, the European Union has a set standard to limit emissions, but this standard covers only 70% of trucks sold, and for buses there's no standard at all. If we want to limit global temperature rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius, the goal of the Paris Agreement, this isn't good enough. In 2022, the standards will be reviewed. This gives Europe the opportunity to put all heavy-duty vehicles on the right road to decarbonisation. The technology to improve the efficiency of diesel trucks and buses already exists. But zero-emission trucks and buses, powered by fuel cells or electric batteries, will have the biggest role to play. Manufacturers have already made big promises to increase the production of zero-emission vehicles. To lock in these commitments, the European Commission should decide on stricter standards in 2022. The current standard targets a CO2 reduction in new trucks of 15% by 2025 and 30% by 2030. To make the manufacturer commitments a reality, this reduction target should be increased to at least 60% in 2030, 90% in 2035, and 100% by 2040 at the latest. And that goes for all trucks, trailers and buses. We need to set a strong standard to speed up the switch to zero emission trucks and buses. This is one of the crucial steps Europe must take to halt dangerous climate change.